Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Mania Legends. So today we have a brand new limited time event on and it is the Tough as Scales Day event. And so this is a VIP only event where the first prize is the Crash Dragon. So this dragon is one of the brand new dragons introduced in the last update. And now we can confirm his name is actually the Crash Dragon and his elements are the Energy, Light and Fire. Just look at that potential AoE damage right there, that looks insane. But he is one of my favourite new dragons out of the new update 18 dragons that were released. And I'm going to read out this because we are, pretty much have no chance of unlocking him. But a hardy fellow, the crash dragon likes to charge straight into objects, bouncing off them and chuckling all the while. Its dragon friends enjoy this behaviour less. And so... This is a gem spending event, so spend as many gems as you can to win awesome rewards, and the top five spenders will receive the Crash Dragon as a reward. And you can also get the Gladiator Dragon as the reward for spending 1,700 gems. So, uh, some people are saying that they would have preferred to have, like, an epic dragon here instead of just a rare, but... If you want to consider winning the Crash Dragon in this event, for instance, the top five, in position five, we have someone that's already spent just under 4,000 gems to get this new dragon. So, uh, that's like seven, 78 pounds worth of gems. So, if you do want to win this dragon, it is going to be a very, very expensive spend. Like, at least 100 pounds minimum to get this dragon. So, that is why I very much doubt that we'll be getting him, but just so you're aware that it is an ongoing event at the moment. And then on top of that, we currently have a Viceroy's Privilege bundle that includes the Fireball Dragon, actually. And this bundle's interesting because we get five Dragon Fury Essence, some gold, and the Fireball in it. And most people got the Fireball literally for free already, but if you don't have this dragon, then honestly, four pounds is actually not that bad because the Dragon Fury Essence that you get with it is a lot more useful than what the Fireball Dragon is. Like, where is our Fireball? I know he's somewhere. Not sure where exactly. There we go. We have Sail over here. But it is a cheap bundle, so, you know, if you just want to add him to your collection, I don't know if he'll ever be coming back again, because it was a really weird event thing that they released him in. Probably going to be worth it if you want to add him to your collection. If you want to use him as a fighting dragon, I would say he's not really worth it. But anyway... After all that, I feel like I'm out of breath now. So much shouting, so much going off, and all that. But we do have a clan event now, because obviously the Great Dragon Race has begun again. So we can start doing a couple of these clan quests. Not that I'm going to be doing too much tonight, because I've already done the other two How to Breed videos and that today. And I don't know how much longer I can keep going. Oh, Jesus. And obviously the Trolloloke, as I always call him, is actually the Trolloloke. But he is the current Dragon of the Week, and we need to breed him using a Lava and UV Dragon. But so far, he hasn't been appearing for me. I keep getting these 6 hour breeding times. God damn it. But we're looking for a 12 hour, 48 minute breeding time for him, I believe. So I'm going to keep trying to breed him all week. We already have the Dragon of the Month, so he is going to be our main priority. So we missed out on him last time because he's a rare, of course, so the game is just going to keep messing with me like it always does. It's like, hey, yeah, uh, you know how you um, want this rare dragon? Well, we're going to make it much, much harder to get him than any other dragon ever. Thank you, game. And why does this require the lava dragon in, like, all of those? Jeez, Skullgate, you're really messing with me. But we need to do some side quest fights anyway, so let's do our auto ba battle stuff. I don't know why I'm stuttering so much. At least yesterday I had an excuse. I was, like, tipsy. Today I'm just... Must be tired. Must just be tired, honestly. But, you know, if you are going for the Berry Dragon, then I do wish you very best of luck. Obviously, he's a legendary, so he's going to be pretty tough to breed. He's not as tough as he could be, admittedly. Like, um... Uh, the Briar that we just got, the Plushie, the Crumbly and stuff like that are much harder to breed than the regular Dragons of the Month, but there isn't an unlimited amount of time for uh, 
the Dragons of the Month, so I guess in a way you could say it is kind of a little, a little bit scarier at the end of the day. And what was that quest that we accepted for the clan thing? Was it Perfect Hits? No, it was side quest battles. I was going to say, I think I've gone insane. But let's refresh these anyway. We don't really have a use. These uncommon and rare recipes, get them out of here. Get them out. Not interested in that. We need the good stuff. Need only the best. And what potions do we get? We got an uncommon shield. I like that. That is definitely what we are about. And plus 25, minus 5, no thank you. And we haven't lost any ranking really since yesterday. Why is the game doing this to me? You're making my life a misery game. And what level was that rush dragon? Okay, this guy's team is actually quite a high level. So I'm going to take in a comet dragon for this. Let's see if we can finish all of these fights off with him. I mean, this looks like it might be close because I think the preview dragon that we saw was a high level as well. So we might have to use some potions here if I am not mistaken. We should be super effective against this Stardust though. The blam! Get one shot. That's the reason you don't use epic dragons on your team right there. Couldn't give you a better example of that. If I can one shot it when I'm like four levels above, that is ridiculous. That's crazy strong. Uh, it's just always take three legendaries, moral of the story. I will keep repeating that till the end of my days because I made the mistake of thinking two legendaries and an epic was going to be worthwhile. And trust me, it is just not. Three legends has just been working so much better for me overall. So, no. That's my piece of advice. You don't have to listen to it, but I'm just going to throw my two cents in in case you do want to listen or consider it at least. But I really want the Tololo. Okay, someone give me some good luck. I mean, we've had some good luck already, but I want some more. I, I want some more good luck. I want endless luck. I want every chest to be completely energy materials for now. At least, obviously, later on, we're going to need some different materials. And Stop giving me these high-level enemies. Go away. No. Uh, that looks better. I mean, he is uh, fully enchanted at level 30, which is a little bit weird. Like, why would you four-star enchant a snow dragon at level 30? What reasoning is there behind that, exactly? Because you don't you Oh god, we're probably dead. Yeah, whatever. Clay Dragon is not working out too hot for us. We'll just leave it at that. They killed each other. Marvellous. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, whatever. It's just easier to lose, use the lantern anyway. But I don't remember what I was talking about now. I don't know, I've lost my train of thought. Thanks, Clay Dragon. Ugh! Stupid Dean the Dragon. Gosh, what is wrong with you? And I'm not sure how any of you follow the uh, Pokemon TCG scene, but the new card packs are going to be coming out in less than a week. And uh, I'm pretty excited for that. So I am literally just going to waste all my extra money on Pokemon cards. And I'm going to feel atrocious. I'm going to feel like I've wasted my life and a failure, but I'm still going to do it anyway. It's like how with uh, DML sometimes, even if I have to put even tiny amounts on, I feel like I have failed myself. It's like, no, you should hold back, don't put money on it, don't need to, even though I, technically I have more of a reason to than the general player, but... You know, at the same time, it's just like, no, 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 don't, don't waste your money. Just wait it out. Be a good patient, girl. And I'm like, now nah, you're right. I want this dragon now. I want to hatch this legendary this instant. I'm going to spend like 300 gems just to hatch this guy right now. I think I've only ever done that like once. And that was because I uh, wasn't going to be home for like a few days. But... In general, I don't speed up my legendary dragon breeds because it just costs so many gems. Oh, Jesus. I remember the time when I said 
I'm gonna go a month without putting any money on this game. I lasted like three weeks, and then a bunch of like good bundles and stuff came out, and it was like everything that I would have spent like throughout the month, like tiny amounts, it all just racked up into one, and I ended up spending like 15 quid all at once. I was like, oh my god, you've actually failed yourself. Why? I'm not someone that puts on a lot of money into DML. I only really buy the clam or like a tiny boost of a hundred gems if I need to do something like immediately. But apart from that, very rarely do I put on money on this game anymore. But you know, we got like no, no materials that I needed out of that and our battle chest resets in six minutes. This is what I get for like playing this game so late every day. Why? Why do I do it to myself? We can't do seven arena fights though, we can only do six. Although if we start doing it now, we'll do our six fights now, and then we could do the seventh one tomorrow. Yeah, there we go. Planning it out. Sounds like a good plan, me. And let's not use those dragons. That's uh I don't think that our berry, our briar, and love dragon can handle all of this. Just a, um, just a guess there, but I don't think level 10s are gonna cut it in this fight. I don't know, maybe they'll prove me wrong and, like, suddenly gain 50 levels of strength. But I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, don't think that that's gonna be happening. But we have a level 70 prairie to deal with here. Unfortunately, because we don't have any training or striker bonus that I've added on, we can't just one-shot the guy. But if I wanted to, we could have easily one-shot the prairie there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And there's no point revitalizing when you're not going to actually heal him for anything. Whatever. But there is how easy it is to one-shot more or less, so we'll two-shot an evenly leveled dragon with the autumn. Mwah! I love it! Absolutely adore it. It's just wonderful being able to do that. And again, even if that dragon there was a legendary, with the striker and training buffs, we could have just one-shot it, which is wonderful. Depending on the legend, of course, but 95% of the time we are just going to destroy it. And hopefully we can at least get six wins out of the the arena stuff today because obviously the enemy levels are gonna skyrocket very soon and we're just gonna be put against level 70s and 80s which never fun if it's just a team of like level 68s or level 70s normally we can just about handle it like this fight here we're against a four star enchanted honey I think we've got a good shot at being able to do this, even without any training, so we'll take it on. And he is going to take, like, more than three quarters of his health in damage. He's going to miss his attack anyway. See, they said that this was a hard fight. God, give me a challenge, DML. But you have no faith. And then he gets murdered by the poison and, and the shadow. Poor thing. How depressing would it be as a bee to get murdered by an infection from a plant? That would be absolutely terrifying, admittedly. And then we have another level 70 set of fights here, so again, we will rinse and repeat. Use our shadow, basically almost one-shot the thing. He is going to reduce our damage, but they can't even really heal up. He can revitalize him but not actually going to help him all that much. So now we will probably use Infection. I think we can still kill him off with the second proc of damage here. And then the other two get infected, all dead. Uh, what a simple life we lead with Andy at our forefront. How magical. I love this. You see, it's the arena fights and that way you really get to experience just how strong some dragons can be. Oh, it's insane. And again, I'm not even trained up or anything. 
And it's 1v3! 1v3! And this guy's like the same enchantment level as me. Oh well. I talk about Andy way too much. I only talk about him because he's like the only dragon that we have at the front of our team. Again, eventually we will be able to level him up to level 80. We just can't at the moment because of our temple limitation. But we'll get the lantern up soon. We'll get our third dragon up. And then Andy will get put up to the big level 8 oak. Just you wait and see. But obviously we can't really do too much else for now. So I'm going to collect all of my gold. Collect my foodie. There we go. And that should be us pretty much more or less done for today. So like I said, I'm going to keep trying to breed this Tololoke dragon, whatever it is. Tololoke. I'm going to feed up our lantern dragon a little bit. So he's almost level 59 now. Oh, can't wait for that. And then obviously with this event, good luck if you are trying to compete. And, uh, you know, get ready to empty your wallets completely. Interesting type, though. I'm very happy to see, like, a weird typing like this on a dragon so plain looking. It's actually really unexpected, but... Anywho, for now, thank you very much for watching. Good luck, and until next time, I will see you then.